to the Ontario Regionals at For the Win Cafe in Toronto, Ontario. This is the uh, cut rounds now. We're into the top four pairings. And right now, both from Montreal, we have Pierre Yves and Stefan. So there, Pierre Yves has this really interesting um, rebel uh, group. So it's got uh, Chopper, Smuggle, uh, Alliance Smuggler, C3PO, Gideon, Hera, uh, Alliance Rangers. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, wrong list. Uh, he's got Alliance Rangers, Kotun, Hera, Mac, Chopper, Gideon, C3PO, two Alliance Smugglers, and Rebel High Command. So cool seeing Kotun in there making it to the uh, top four. And his buddy from Montreal, Stefan, has Chopper, Smuggler, uh, Alliance Smuggler that is, C3PO, Gideon, Hera, Alliance Rangers, Han Solo with the Rogue Smuggler, obviously, and Rebel High Command. So it's going to be interesting to see a Han list uh, versus another strong Rebel list. Um, just before we get started here, just a quick uh, reminder to everybody. So two weeks from now, we will be having our Star Wars Gaming Nationals at Breakout Con in Toronto, Ontario at the Sheridan Centre. You go to breakoutcon.com, you can sign up for a $20, $20? $20 FFG pass, and that allow you uh, the ability to play in any Star Wars event. You don't have to pay anything extra on top of that. You just pay for the FFG pass and then schedule it. And, um, oh yeah, it's going to be moved, eh? And then um, you can play X-Wing, you can play Imperial Assault, you can play Armada, Destiny, until your Star Wars heart is content. So that's going to be on March 16th to the 18th. Now the Imperial Assault will be on the 18th. Now I know VTTV is going to be streaming the um, Armada and X-Wing, I believe. Is that right? No Destiny though, right? And Imperial Assault we will not be streaming. I'm going to try to record the final. Um, but yeah, please come out. If you're in Toronto and you're able to come out for a Star Wars gaming event, there's still tickets available. Go to breakoutcon.com and sign up for the FFG special pass and then you're able to sign up for extra Star Wars gaming events oh yeah and don't forget um, if you're out there and you want to get to worlds this year there's the, uh, the party bus the Star Wars gaming Ontario party bus through Big Tim so don't forget that it's a great price I don't think you can get a better deal if you want to get down to Minnesota it's a great deal all right so Kenny what we got here what do you think is going on here uh, you think that uh, it's Rebel versus Rebel? Do you think you'd see two Rebel lists in the top four? I think so. Yeah? I think, especially with the fix with Han, you were definitely go, going with the Rebels here. Well, that's why I've been saying, since they made all these fixes, I was like, you know what, you could go with Han, you could do Vader in a list, you could do um, you could do Chewie in a list if you wanted to, you still could do IG with his fix, you could even do Luke. So it's, the meta's wide open to, you know, as long as you have one strong player. Now what's interesting about Pierre Yves' list is he doesn't do that. He's got a more balanced list. He's got Mac in there for the spy. He's got Kotun, which is great with troopers. So we're going to see a very interesting match today between two friends. So it looks like right off the bat, Stefan has decided to open the door um, at his deployment zone with the smuggler, it appears to be. And that's a bit gutsy because he knows he's got some Alliance Rangers shooting back at him as well. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens here with the return, with the firing between the, the long hallway. I don't know about you, Kanto, but I find that I usually, when I see the other guy open the door, then yeah, I'm going to open the door. Because I feel like in, in this map, you can become very disadvantaged if you decide not to mirror that, that play. If you leave the door closed, and they open it, they're gonna run them up, they're gonna get all kinds of objectives, and you're gonna you're gonna end up regretting it. Um, so in this one, the objective tokens, you see there's a green one at the top, the red in the middle, and the red at the bottom. If you um, are there at the end of round adjacent to those tokens, you will score four points. So right off the bat, uh, it looks like he jumped, Stefan jumped the smuggler into the pit, and the Rancor Pit, and he took the one damage, and so he's got the control of that position for now, until Pierre Yves tries to um, to see if he can contest that. So we'll see what happens here. I noticed that uh, Stefan has the same uh, activation tokens as um, Carl, who's also from Montreal. Uh, just so you Montreal fans know, Carl is playing in the other semifinal against Ivan, and uh, Ivan is actually from this store, our home store. Uh, 
John Chan actually finished in the top four but was not able to move on. So Ivan was fifth, so he moved into that position. So Ivan gets the chance to defend our store's honor here. So first attack with a long range shot from the Ranger. Looks like it's just um, dodged by the smuggler. Intelligence. Now he's playing intelligence, he's playing intelligence, uh, intelligence leak, and what happens here is he's going to look at um, Stefan's hand, and he can take out any one of those cards he wants, but he has to take strain for, on his spy. So if he, he looks like he's trying to make a decision here. He's not sure, and it looks like he's going to burn. Uh, oh, that's, that's I huge. I make my own luck. That's yeah. huge. Tell us about it, Kenny. So make my own luck. Han Solo's name card. Um, yes. Yeah. So, if you take a look at it there, it's basically another take initiative that you play, uh, but Han has to go first. And, so, you can, and you can't really negate it that's necessarily, right. right? I was just about to say, look, if you look at the cost there, it was two points, which normally, if you play take initiative, you can be negated, but since it's two points, it, you, have a, you have to play it a different way. Right. So that's a that's a big move there. That's I'm a big move. Surprised that Pierre took so long to figure that one out there. I was like, man, I, I write, maybe it's just such a hard choice to make because he had another good card in there. Yeah. But great play right off the bat. Awesome play. Oh, clear Dave is here. So we got Ken Seventy. Just to remind everybody, Ken Seventy from Winnipeg, all the way from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And we've got Never Bet the Fet here, of course. I hope I'm not ruining your day with my crappy commentary. And uh, we've got Victor in the booth with helping us with tech, and Clear Dave, another uh, Toronto local guy. So Clear Dave, here it is. We'll give you the lowdown here. We just started the round. We've got two Rebel lists, one with Han, one with Kotun. Right off the bat, they open up both doors in the Jabba's Palace map. Yep. Long range uh, shooting at each other, but Pierre Yves plays Intelligence Leak and pulls out of Stefan's hand, I make my own luck. Well, so that's a shame. That's a shame. That's uh, that's not one you want to lose this early in the game. He, the other thing he did is he, um, Stefan jumped one of his smugglers into the Rancor pit and is now... Naturally, yeah. Yep, just that's smart with that guy. If you can get him to survive even one round, I've been talking about this on the stream all day today with those cheap figures. If they can score even just their figure cost, to me that's awesome. Everything else is bonus. So more long-range ranger shots from Stefan. So they're controlling the points, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Looks like a smuggler down. So they basically have the same plan. Hide a guy in the Rancor pit for the points. Fight over that. Yeah, that's Stefan Smuggler, right? He's got all the painted ones? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, you just... Oh, I was going to say, uh, before, so before I start, before you got here, uh, we were saying it's cool to see Code 2 make it to the top four, and there's no Han, there's no big gun really in that list. It's kind of cool. I believe, I was told by them that uh, Pierre actually won the Quebec Regional with the exact same list. He went 4 or Well, he went 4-0. I'm not sure if he ended up winning or not. I was that ask. the one where they didn't have the cut because the store closed? That's right. There was some issue. Well, there was some issue with this. And I think there was some issue with the scoring on stream on one of the games. Oh, God. So, let's hope that doesn't happen to us. It's all to do with, get this, a Greedo issue. Oh, so here's a long range shot with another Ranger. Stefan. Oh, yeah. Now we can see it. Yeah. Well, that's, um, that's pretty good. He's still going to have, he's going to make range. Can do some damage. Uh, I don't think he's got. Oh no, he's got the plus one accuracy built mm -hmm. in, right? Yeah. So he's just right on the dot. I use these guys at Michigan Regionals. And I really enjoy them. I can't lie. I've always been. Who's he shooting at? Hera. Yeah. This is the round, right? You just want to try and tee up as many figures as you can. And yeah. Don't give up too much damage yourself. I feel like they're doing like this battle of attrition at this point. They're just opening yeah. doors, shooting at each other, and seeing who survives. And then it's going to be coming out and looking for some objectives. Well, it's Rangers on Rangers, so yeah. who's going to get their Hunter cards first, right? Yeah. 
who's going to be able to kill faster than the other. This is where, you know, having initiative is huge, so taking that card away from Han is actually pretty big, too. Kento, you're a Han man. What would you do here with Han? Where, where do you leave him end around? I don't know. I think it might be good to maybe go for the objective right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Depending on how, how many people he has on the terminal, on, or Pierre has on the terminal there, mm -hmm. he might be able to get a decent shot at the end of the round there, maybe. Well, if he goes to the spot here, I mean, to describe it, yeah. if you're looking at the screen, just the, the square to the right of the middle objective, then at least end of round he can shoot down into that room at whatever's still sitting in there, right? Yeah. And still get the points. So it looks like a full, uh, is this Kotun's attack here? Or is that a focus ranger? No, it's not. And if someone wants to shoot him, they'd have to move up to make right. it happen, right? So. So it looks like you did five damage on that uh, ranger at the top of the screen. Oh, where do you want this entirely non-alcoholic beverage oh. that, uh, <laughs> that I brought for you? Oh, uh, we're not drinking right now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Might be for the finals. Okay, so we're at now. He looks like he's gonna just use uh, three PO to. Focus up probably one of his rangers or Han. Oh, looks like he's giving it to yeah. Han. Han. Yeah. Never a bad idea. Yeah. Never a bad idea. Do you ever not focus him up, Kento, in your list? Or? I, I don't think I have not. No, I mean, they can't even, um, like, unless they, they can take him out in one attack, he's going to shoot back with that thing, right? So. Yeah. I haven't played much with him yet. I've played against him enough, but I haven't played with him enough yet to know exactly where to position him because I always get worried he still is only 12 and if he doesn't dodge then you're going to get hurt but I've seen good players keep 3PO next to him well, getting the extra block and the surge cancel and you want to at least set it up so wherever he goes end of round uh, for his final movement that nobody can get to him without trading a shot right. and then he gets his end of round effect so you can try and get two out of it Yeah, that's like your best case scenario for some early damage dealing or take no damage and hide somewhere, but if you wanted to stick them out there, that's what you'd be open for. Yeah. Now here goes some, I believe some ranger shots are coming from Pierre. He's trying to count some distance here, deciding who he wants to go against as well. That's how I would do it, though, if yeah. I was playing on. Not that I have. It's the same philosophy as uh, everyone's favorite author, acquitted murderer O.J. Simpson. <laughs> He had a book about that too. How he would have done it if he did. <laughs> yeah. Maybe how you players should be reading that. <laughs> I don't know. I can tell you I'm notorious for after the fact. Like, should have done this. Here comes some ranger damage. Is he going to apply the damage to Kutun? So Kutun gave him uh, the hit, the power token. Yep. So apply that. It's a decent roll. Looks like he's attacking the smuggler. And if he's shooting the smuggler, then he's, he's going to uh, pierce the one. He's going to add one from Hera, I believe. And that should be enough to kill the smuggler. Uh, no, he's he's the range. From the power tool. He's going to pierce. Yeah, he has the range there. exactly. Yep. If you factor in the, the accuracy. So uh, I don't know if he's thinking about trying to play a card here. Or... Yeah, he's taking the smuggler away. It's two it points for Pierre. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you gotta do that. I mean, it's it's annoying to have to shoot a smuggler, to be honest. But in this game, in this like, that kind of map, I feel like a smuggler is gold. Plus, you're taking away an activation next round. Well, yeah, because they're gonna brawl with each other's rangers, all that good stuff. And then yeah. once you've tapped out, then the smugglers just run to the objectives, with yeah. whatever's left, right? So he's counting the distance here. Rolls are up. Um, I think he's got seven there. Three, six. No, he looks like he's short. He might have to surge here, right? He would have to. Yeah, yeah, he would have to search for the accuracy. Um, but he is only showing two. So it, it, right now it looks like it's looking like it would be three damage, I think, right? You pierce one, you add two. Yeah. No, they have a search pierce. Right? They have a, an eight plus one, yeah. an eight yeah. pierce one. That's yeah. what I like about them is I think it's a free, yeah. free pierce and free plus one, like, which is what they should probably have on figures like Dengar and... Um, well, now you're opening up a whole fat, like, can of worms discussion yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> that'll be intermission. How to fix all the uh, the terrible Yeah, that'll, that'll be intermission, right? <laughs> so it's interesting that we have uh, 
three guys came all the way from Montreal and all three of them in the final four cut. This is pretty awesome for them. This means an interesting ride home. So here goes, um, he's taken out to know the last of the Ranger in his group. He's gonna go for another long range shot. He's gonna try and go for Hera. Long vomit on Hera. Oh, yeah. he just counted it out for us beautifully. He's looking for the line of sight. Yeah, you got line of sight there. Uh, that's the easy line of Back sight. Back corner, yeah, you got that. That's a nine range shot though. Yeah. So he's gonna need. Well, he has his Hera for one. accuracy anyway. I think he used the plus one already though. I think. Did if he? I'm not mistaken. Well, it looks like your, your token's down there too, right? I think. Well, let's see here. Well, he's gonna have to re roll. <laughs> Oh no, he's got the. Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got to re roll that one too. This could be a so what's, here. what's his token then for Hera? I see the rebel thing, but that's oh, he's not the range. So the token for Hera is like when he uses Hera, he's going to put that token down. Okay, so he hasn't used Hera yet. Oh, I think that being on the card might be that he used it, because I think on the previous attack he added a plus one up. I was saying yeah. this uh, earlier. No, you're right. Look, yeah. he used it. Okay. Good call. Yeah. I take that to add the surge, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's, cool. that's a good it. idea, actually. Well, they need to, when they make these games, mm -hmm. include, like, token oh, reminders. Oh, oh, he's watching assassinate. assassinate! What was underneath it? So he played Assassinate, he's gonna get... But what's the card underneath it? Um, Did he flop two cards now? That means from previous. That was Intelligence League. Oh, yeah, from before, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's discard. So he kills Hera for four points for Pierre, and now his trooper gets to hide. Yep. Well, that's kind of cool because now he's in the front. And Don't forget to hide, yeah. You got to shoot at him, you know, he's, he's going to be minus two accuracy. Yeah. So that works out actually quite well. That is expert positioning. So this is a good, so Pierre Yves gets four. Yeah, for Pierre Yves. So, so that's six two, yeah. This is already starting out to be a interesting grudge match between two friends. Like I said, this is going to be an interesting ride on the way back to Montreal. Well, Stefan's still going to score that box, right? True. So. Yeah, because it doesn't look like it doesn't look like Pietri plans to trap challenge to jump down the hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now. Well, he could still do it. He's still got his own smuggler that can. Uh, he hasn't gone with Chopper yet either, so I suppose he could move over and give uh, C three PO a little bit of a jolt. Well, seems like smuggling something. <laughs> Yeah, so he can still put... Where's his chopper? Sorry? Gears? Oh, there he is, yeah. yeah. So he can right still... Right on the edge, sir. He can still... Uh, does he have enough space to actually uh, go down there and ram the smuggler off that oh. spot? That's interesting. I suppose he could, because you can move four. Because that's part of it. Is It's one action Ooh, to move and ram, right? That's a great idea. Because he can jump but down there and smart. force the smuggler off yeah. when he lands and then ram him in another direction. No, you can do it. He'll take the damage. Now, do you want to leave Chopper down there? As a whole Victor, other... can you bring up Chopper's card? I frankly yeah. can't stand Chopper. What but kind of hacked fraud commentators don't know what Chopper does off by heart? Well, I never, never remember if it's like during... C1. 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 Yeah. There he is. Well, I just figured educate everyone else too. So. Oh yeah, no, of course, yeah, that's what that. Yeah, means. of course. So he'd have to move up. So you can move. See, I'm not sure he can make it all the way in. No, he can move four to be next yeah. to it, then yeah. do the ram. Yeah. One drops him down yes. there, and then he can so then he just be ram him right it. off. He could easily ram that's him off. That's kind of yeah. awesome. But let's see if Pierre Yves is going that way, unless he's thinking what. Well, so I if he would... thinks it's worth holding on to four points. Yeah, because the other option is you know he can do some damage on a three pm right? Yeah. Unless he gets really cute and drops his own smuggler down there too, but I mean, yeah. that's just a waste. I don't know. I don't know. That's... That was originally what I think he was going to do. Was he would just like go smuggler on smuggler and just to contest see it. See who yeah. comes out. Yeah. So he's going to go with three uh, PO here. He's trying to decide who to focus up. Focus up the front ranger, which is probably a good call because that ranger's probably got a little life in him because he's technically two phases back. I mean, right? let's be honest. Do you want Chopper to fry three PO off that terminal? I think yeah. so. I feel like you do. I mean. That was all just crazy talk, obviously. <laughs> I'm just saying he could do it if he wanted to for four points. Yeah. So interesting note, whenever I'm playing against Chopper, I usually put a Ranger or Hera on the terminal before, just to be safe, yeah. before Chopper's gone. So they use Chopper, and then I can put 3PO on there safely. Yeah. Oh, that's a smart yeah. idea. Or if you can math it out and figure out that they have to activate him before you do, then right. you can run him over finally and make it work. 
because I have seen a lot of games where people forget about Chopper and they go and put an officer there or a smuggler. Oh, or sure, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. Before you know it, it's got the. Uh, yeah. He's getting the system shock. So the officers only last two rounds and 3PO. Same. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. But then you have to dump the card to make that work. No, 3PO can eat the whole thing. Um, as twice. damage. Yeah. The, the officer, though, you can't take it as damage. Right. Yeah. yeah. You, have, you to have, to have to mill the card to do it. Yeah, at least you're right with 3PO. You don't have to, you don't have to mill a card. So still a lot of posturing here. And it looks like he's still got on to go. He's got his own chopper to go. It's funny, I, I, I've yet to see chopper versus chopper. Ever. Didn't I'm really not that surprised, but I'm just, that it's weird to think that I've never seen it before. Yeah, you don't often deploy him. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at this! This is a bloodbath. Can I put oh, Hera down Hera. here? Hera. Really interesting. interesting call here. Well, Hera's going to have more staying power, I guess, but... She's going to take a shot right now. And just kill it out. Right? Ah, interesting. Well, but if he doesn't dodge it, then that'll be a... Be. Oh! oh wow. You called it! Oh, ah, man. Dodge. Ouch. Now oh, Hera's stuck no, down there. that's dirty. Hera, well, at least Hera's at least contesting, right? <laughs> I uh, see. This was my whole thing oh. with, with Chopper. If you're going to commit a, a better figure to it, yeah, because at least it's guaranteed to knock him off it, and you'll score it, right? You, you're out. You're right. And then That's, that would have been a really good. Then move. you can always finish him off in the yeah. next round, right? But alas, here we are. That would have been a really good move. I think if you're going to jump Hera down the pit, Chopper might have been a better thing to jump down. The pit. Well, I'm, I'll be honest. I feel like okay. I'm not a great Chopper user, obviously. I'm not even a big fan of Chopper, but. I find he does his system shock in the first round, and then you're lucky to get anything else out of him after that. I've never, I have well, yet to have much challenge out of him. It's an incentive to basically keep your guys off the mm -hmm. terminal while he's over there. Yeah, so, so he's basically th your three points You're giving for yourself card advantage. Burning yeah. a card, burning his card, and you're gaining a card. Yeah. Which is interesting, because you look at R2 R2's card, and he, it's positive for you, mm -hmm. whereas Chopper, it's negative for the other guy. That's right. Yeah. Very interesting. But yeah. against Imperial, is you're denying them Zillow fodder, right? So. Yeah. Yep. True. That's true. That, that's right. that, that has its own value to it. So he's trying to side here with Han, who he's going to shoot at, because he's got the hidden ranger right in front, who's covering. He's got three PO behind him. This hidden ranger. Well, the hidden ranger is not going to be the target. That would just be yeah. insanity. You got to go for someone that's nearby. But then again, his opponent jumped hair down the Rancor pit, so but I don't know what's going to happen. Your other option is three PO. I mean, and then three PO can re-roll a, a white, right? So. See, it's three peels right in the middle. It's really hard no, to it's see three peels right there. You can't get them. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought he was on the other side. Who's that sitting there? That looks like a smuggler right there. Oh, is it a smuggler? Yeah. Okay. So he could shoot at that smuggler. He could, but it's minus two accuracy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's a, it's even hard as well. So it looks like he's not doing that with Han. He's testing it out. Yeah. Just measuring out the oh. line of sight. Interesting. He's gonna bring Chopper over there to contest the, uh, or to gain the, the, the stash. Yeah. Huh. Forty minutes, guys. Forty minutes. Well, we've seen all kinds of madness now. Okay, so we brought Chopper in to contest the stash. Well, he's holding it right now. Yeah. Right? So. Or to, now to, to hold it. Yeah. yeah. To hold it. Very cool. So it's a question of um, what does he have left? So he just has his own chopper and a smuggler. Mm -hmm. So is he going to try and contest that? Because there's still Han who can go after the third stash at the top and, and end of round shoot in at that ranger. Does this Han have his activation token flipped over? Oh, where is it? Looks like he might have flipped it over and not flipped it back. Because he didn't take that shot, right? I don't see if he figures that out. Now, what do you guys think? What's what's the strategy you would have on this map? Depends what uh, what he does with his chopper and smuggler, right? Wow, that's yeah. Really, I love this play. This is crazy because now three PO is free to just check his Facebook there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, three PO goes un uncontested there. He's gonna sit there, like he said, check his Facebook. Maybe he's gonna do a couple Snapchat. Oh, Han's coming in because he knows he has his end around shot. Yeah. 
maybe take out Chopper. I like this move. I mean, he's still somewhat defended in that spot. He's still got a block. It's me hard to, for anything to happen otherwise. Yeah, the oh, smuggler that's a smart. Yeah, picks Grab up the another top four. Yeah. All right, so end of round. And it looks like, let's see, Pierre is going to score four. So he jumps out to a 10 2 lead. Well, Stefan's, not, Stefan's not too worried right now. He gets his end of round shot with Han. He's going to draw his cards first, obviously. He's holding that negation. What is that, an element? Yeah, I love when you can see the cards. Okay, he's getting ready to defend with Chopper. I mean, I would imagine Han with focus should smoke him here. Unless he's got, unless he's got something up his sleeve. Well, that's not the greatest Han mm -hmm. roll, but that's just enough to kill Chopper. Yeah. Well, he's got the reroll if you really True. wanted it. I would he could reroll the two, yeah. Yeah, why not? The, the, the blue with the one. He can't do any worse, right? No. But he just no, he take takes him out. Yeah, so that's three points for Stefan. So that's the right play. That's, that's what, Kenta, would you say that's what you would pretty much want to do with Han, yep. right? Yeah. Get him out there, get your free end of round, do some damage. Great what they've done with fixing this figure to make him totally relevant again. The timing's just fun because you score the uh, the stuff before Han goes, right? So yeah. He doesn't get a chance to actually get his points off it. But it's one less chopper. So now C-3PO can pull that terminal for the rest of the uh, match pretty well. There you go. Perfect. Now, so when he... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, it's still, it look, it's looking like Yariv has his self set up that he's going to do some brawling, or not so brawling, but some shots, long range shots, try to step on the top. It's actually forcing it. Stefan is a little more, um, I would say, missed. guarded, and he's got a lot of good positioning hidden, but he's spread out. Well, he's up, up, updated the score there. We missed some things. I guess so, yeah. yeah. They, they got 14 8. Okay. Each of those tokens are worth four points? That's right. Yeah. What was he checking there? Uh, Gideon? We're gonna get some Gideon points. moves up. Oh, to see if he could focus on again? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be the last focus Gideon ever gives up if he does do that. Yeah. Because then he'll be shot dead immediately. Well, yeah. that's where he was looking, because he yeah. could see if he can move, maybe move to and then go back. Yeah. Because yeah. that would be a risky play. Yeah. And it looks like the answer was no on that. I mean, they got a tough decision to make here, because now you're, in, like I was saying, trying to say earlier, like you're sort of stuck in your, your hidey holes, and yeah, it's definitely spreading out. You gotta, someone's got to come out. Well, it's, yeah. So for focusing Han, another option is 3PO down here. So moving off the terminal, even though you wouldn't get the card, uh, Stefan does have Rebel High Command, yeah. which gives him the yeah. extra card draw. That's a good call. That's fair. I like that call. Because yeah, he could shoot up and focus Han right now. And then you yeah. get the defensive bonus if he uh, kind of stays in that area, too. Yeah. I, I like that call. And like yeah. you said, because he's got the Rebel High Command, he's getting a card anyway. He's got some flex. Yeah. And it looks like he's got a couple cards still in his hand, so it's not like he's, he's cardless. Like he, doesn't, he still has some good strategy potential. A lot of decisions here. So um, we have to ask you, Dave. Um, what's with the what, the Weiss uh, token? What do you mean? What's with it? With instead of Rancor, were you embarrassed that you didn't have a painted Rancor? Or you just wanted to get Weiss on the screen. Well, it's the only way you're ever going to see him on a screen. Right? <laughs> well, maybe saying, one day those. I called that. I said I'm sure that Clear Day put that on there just to make sure Weiss was on the stream someday. Oh, Miami Vice is great. Oh, completely unplayable in a tournament. But. <laughs> it's kind of funny just watching him no, come yeah, down the corner. The Rancor model is completely crap for moving around in a skirmish match. It looks awesome, yeah. but... Yeah, you, it's you tail sticking uh, out the back. You can't even pop his arms off and use that safely. It's <laughs> too much. Well, it looks like Hera's taking a shot here. Okay. Yep. Oh, and, and that's a, dead, that's smuggler. a dead smuggler. So that's two points. Two points for Pierre. I 
was a good play. I mean, it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. You gotta... It was unfortunate he dodged the first time, but I mean, what was Hera going to do after that, anyways, right? Yeah. Hera stepped in there, but it could have been another four points for Yadiv, but. Well, and it's stalling it for activations now, right? That's the yeah. game they're playing, so. Yeah, and I don't mind that. I don't if you mind. Kill, if you use Hera to take out a smuggler, it's one less, like, yeah. nothing activation that can yeah. buy him time to let you move first. As much as they're annoying, like I said, in, in maps like this, I'm, I have no problem going after smugglers. Those are pretty high token, focus token, those are cool. So it looks like he's, uh, Stefan's getting ready for a little bit of retaliation here. Yeah, I'm just going to come down to, again, those handy hunter cards, yeah. right? Who's got the assassinates, who's got the... Uh, Oh boy, that's a pretty good roll. He no, can re-roll that reflexes too. Right He's got the range, but he can re-roll that too if he wants that, to. Yep. Um, he's missing the he's hidden one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's seven away. Needs nine to get there. And yep. he's got... Oh, no, he he's got it. it. Yeah, yeah he's got the, it. The yep. ranger has the built-in one. Yep. And he could re-roll that blue. Yeah, I think the play is to re-roll the two there. Yeah. Because you can't do any worse. It doesn't look like he wanted to reroll that. Oh, well. So he ducks that uh, ranger back in. I mean, he did do five damage there. Yeah. No assassin, I guess, to put it over the top. Okay, he's getting rid of his hidden. There goes another ranger shot. Long range. Uh-oh. That looks like he's... Oh, not only does he have range, but he's gonna have to. Oh, yeah. He's gonna have to get a better roll here. Plus, he's got a lot to put through. That's that's not gonna do anything. No, it's not gonna do anything. Zero damage there. How many? Seven, but he needs a nine. He needs a nine, right? Yeah, so he's one off. Yeah. Oh, he's playing assassinate. Oh, oh no, height height reflexes, reflexes, which is a great. That's that makes pretty good. Sense. Yeah. But what does that get him? Because he still doesn't have the range. Well, oh, he I think he did. I think he did have the range because he has the built-in plus one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. And what did he put up? A, he put up seven range, right? I think he did. He put up seven accuracy, and then he's got plus one. He yeah. had no surges. Yeah. So I don't know how that works. Oh, I'd have to look at it. The guy, unless the ranger wasn't hidden, and I'm imagining well, that, I was just thinking that. I'm like, maybe that hidden token didn't belong there. Like it was next to him. Oh, it could have been, but... Who, on who else, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Nick, we lost, uh, lost his screensaver. <laughs> yes. Very, very bizarre. You so, get what I'm saying, though, right? That was. So Stefan. I'm remembering that, right? He had seven accuracy showing. Five two and a five? Two. Yeah. And plus one is eight. Plus one. And he was seven was away, he? but the ranger was hidden, right? One, two. He was standing Six, right seven, in the doorway. Eight, yeah. nine. I don't know. I don't know what that was. But, but he, hidden, yeah, and he took hidden, hidden for the token. extra surge, but he had a surge cancel yeah, from. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. From three uh, PO, so I think there was a mistake there. So, because yeah, if he's seven away with the hidden token, because it's gone now, right? So clearly it belonged to him. Like well, got it back though. No, the uh, the hidden token that we were looking at. Oh, okay, yeah, the ranger yeah, right, is gone right, right. now, so clearly it belonged to that guy, which then means the shot shouldn't have hit. Unless, hmm. unless you played a card, you had like a dead eye or something we didn't that we didn't screen. see, maybe. Yeah, yeah I can't see. Can't, yeah, the problem with this map is that it's so big, it's hard to keep everything in the screen. So I had that problem when I'm on chat roulette as well. Just right over his head, right? Yeah. yeah. What's that? It's <laughs> oh, Did you make that Craigslist joke? Which was one that you? That? Or on the forums? Um, something about... Oh, something the, or when, when he was saying yeah, yeah. how he was going to go find someone's wife and, like, <laughs> buy their Legion things from them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was me, that was me. Oh, I do remember that. The joke about... That's not, that's not, not usually why we look yeah. for people's wives on Craigslist, but, you know. <laughs> I remember that now. Only a gamer, right, would, would do it for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craigslist casuals looking to buy Legion. So 
Fiat Reeves is going to use, going to focus up his uh, Alliance Ranger with Gideon. And his other action with his Gideon. I mean, you can move towards the terminal, I suppose. What was your handle on there again? 1070. There. So it's K E N S E V E N T Y. And then 70 because originally, when I signed up for Facebook, it wouldn't let me do lab numbers. No. Oh. So, seven zero seventy. Yeah, because I always get confused because there's another there's Kenny. another person on there. Kenny, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always forget which is which. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. There's another. He Kenny does. Brown. Uh, Kennedy Brown. Zion's finest. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and yeah, then yeah. I always forget who's who, though, of the two. That's a fun. superb Imperial Assault podcast. So you see he uh, used Gideon to move... Are they Jewish? Is that where that comes from? I don't know. It looks like he, he used Gideon there to move 3 field back, eh? I wasn't trying to make a political thing. I was just curious. I, I do not know the origins. Yeah. I get Twin Troopers. I get Vader's Finest. I miss those guys. Yeah. I think they went into Destiny and then kind of just stopped. But then they didn't do a Destiny podcast for it, so I don't Maybe there's a breakup behind the scenes that we don't know about. Because I thought I saw the guy at Worlds, Grant McKinney. They were both there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I was talking to them about the podcast. Yeah. Although that was already 10 months ago. Yeah. So. But that's what I mean. It was just a, no talk about them. Who knows? The band broke up. Someone married a Yoko. <laughs> that's what it was. Taking the time with this, this round, I'll tell you. Well, you don't want to act in haste here, right? No, the don't. whole thing's hinging on it. You don't, especially you got Han Solo just around the corner. Yep. He's within striking distance, really. Well, the Rangers, that's their, like, Pierre's Rangers. There's nothing to really shoot at right now. Yeah. Right? Without it, without extending him. Unless, unless he had, like, an urgency in his hand or something like that to get up and pop off on those other Rangers or something. Yeah. But just with the four spaces, one, two, three. Yeah, it's like you have this lovely focus and, you know, hide. You can't even do anything with it right now. Yeah. Okay, so and then even just to go and through. shoot at the Rangers isn't going to get you anything. I mean, it gets you some more points, but... So you're right. So Platoon goes, and there's no shot, obviously, there. Does it look like she can... Or does she have one now? And there you go. Kent 70, good call there, Kento. Get 3P out there, focus him up, and give a little bit of defense to Han, although Han's not in any threat right now, I suppose. But let's see how Piaris, uh responds to that. And look at my Kutun's getting focused up by 3PO, so that's why I moved Kutun over there. I mean, it's not a bad move because at some point everyone's coming out and everyone's dancing. So you might as well be all focused up. Get out, get and have your good power. dress on. Yeah, have your good, have your the, green dress. Have the jewelry. Yeah, and the green jewelry. Your debutante gown. <laughs> Speaking of jewelry, how is your uh, your new sparkly dice there? Mm. Yeah, pretty good. You gonna roll them on the airplane home in Winnipeg? Maybe. On Wednesday. Maybe. Yeah. Show them Show off. Show them off to your buddies. Sell them. So looks like. Uh, Oh, Smuggler just moved a little bit out of the way, or is he still there? He moved up Maybe a bit. one space. Yeah, yeah, just to give him as much uh, cover. Yeah. Stefan, Stefan trying to think what he's going to do here. He's still got Chopper and Han to go. Nice focus, Han. One, two, three, four. You can get to that one corner. One. Yeah. Yeah, you can get to that corner, take a shot. And then, and then you get another shot. You get another shot. Like, end the round. Is that what you would do, Kento? Just go, na go there now? or? Oh, no, he's I think so. Back. Well, with if you go the other way, if you go up here, then you still can tuck back and still have some cover. Yeah. Where the other side, you're kind of going in a little more. So he goes with a focus Han. Search Han, cancel. I'm assume, assume Han's going to re-roll that green die. The one. Or is he, sh he shooting the smuggler up top? Yeah. yeah. I didn't see what he had on the blue, though, for accuracy. Uh, 
think he had, I think he had it. Six yeah, there's one there. Probably yeah. a bit of dust. So two more, so for two more points for Stefan. That's a good idea. You can get rid of that, you know, that four-point objective scoring. Yeah, that's a, bit, that's a big swing. Yeah, and it forces Pierre to do something else. Well, I mean, it, he still has Hera down in the hole. He's going to collect four points. Interesting maneuver here. A hidden focused ranger come out Probably to, score to shoot the at Han point. since Han's not focused. Yeah. That's true. I mean, he could still hit this distance though, potentially, couldn't he? I mean, I've had, I've had an unfocused Han still hit really far away. It's just safe. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Like the odds are not. Oh, he double moved yeah. him. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so he's not going to shoot out. So then he gets, he's going to get his card here, which is probably good. You can also... And that's going to be... So what else we got left? So we got shot for another one. I think he's, uh, Pierre's holding that take initiative as well. Yeah. But we know Stefan's got the negation from an earlier card show. So. Yeah. That initiative's going to Stefan, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's safe. Yep. Okay, so it's end of round. And it looks like Piatti is going to score eight, and Stefan's going to score four. So, I mean, it's still a tight match. Anything can happen. He's still got a full on who we all know can be pretty nasty in this game. He's got some, Stefan that is, he has some... Uh, Rangers in the back, nice hidden position with a with a Gideon able to focus him up. The initiative is going to Stefan though, either way. Yeah. Yeah, because he had Stefan has neg uh, negation in his hand too. Yeah. If I saw that right. Yeah. It's the last card he's got. So he's doing the end of round on shot. Which, what do you, how many is that away? Two, three, four, six, eight, eight, looks like almost ten. If he makes it, that'll be a big swing because he can just start the round and kill the ranger if he doesn't finish him off. So he's going to have to re-roll that to make range. I don't think he's going to make range. So he can search, he could have searched for accuracy there too. Yeah. Yeah, but five, I still six, think seven, I don't think he's making it. I mean, hey, it's a free shot, right? So, yeah, absolutely. So initiative goes to Stefan. He plays take initiative. Take initiative. The fun plays. Nick There's eight. the response. So, I'm sure that's happened many times in their friendship. So take initiative, and then Stefan plays. Yep. Stefan plays the gate. Nice. Love those graphics. Wow. BTTV, you guys rock. I might actually watch Destiny just to see your broadcast now. <laughs> this is like some covenant grade stuff going on here. It's pretty that's awesome, true. man. Not the bush elite that had no how to swamp guy get on YouTube. That's just junk. Heard of this. <laughs> so some decisions to make here, I'm sure. So if you're Stefan at this point, you know that Pierre holds a two four point objectives. So you're gonna have to try to push those out somehow. I mean, Harry, just leave him alone. Leave her alone. Leave her. Gets four more points, man. But I guess you gotta suck that one up because you can't. You could probably go in. Maybe with some... the spread that he has left, what's he gonna commit to it, right? I mean, if he yeah. sends a ranger down there, they're just trading shots. And yeah. Unless he has the cards, like the hunter cards, to clear her off in one go. Yeah. And she's so tanky. He won't. Yeah. He won't kill Hera. Hera won't kill them. Oh, At oh, best, they can test it, right? Yeah. I mean, Hera does have four damage on her, mm. but still. What did he, he might play have played that urgency, game? I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. yeah. So Stefan played Urgency, and then Pieri's negated it. Cool. I should have that at home, too. So here he goes. He's going with the Han. He's peeking around the corner. Oh, man. Oh, playing there. element of surprise. Oh. oh. Toxic dart. Toxic oh, dart. Yeah, no, wow. Toxic dart. Yeah. Oh. Blowing a card instead, burning a card, position advantage is a good card for zero points. So toxic Dart, and he also played Element of Surprise to get rid of the dice. So the Toxic Dart 
no action. Yeah. A figure within three spaces becomes takes a strain and becomes weakened. Yeah. Great card for no Which action. Is, eh? Yeah. Not the greatest roll to come no. off that though. Oh, oh that's not no. great. No, not great. I mean, Han still surges for some damage, but so that's still going to be four damage, correct? Because he can surge Five? for plus two and plus one. Or what did he roll on defense here? Oh, Nothing. He's got. got uh, oh, right. A surprise. Of course. So he's going to have four damage. For five? He can search for two and another search one. Search for right? one, any other one. Yeah, so four. four. Oh, and yeah, sorry, with Rogue Smuggler, he has the fifth damage from that, right? No. No, yeah, I'm who gets wrong. the plus I'm one? Wrong. No. Oh, Vader, I think, gets it's a plus Vader, one. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Four damage. I think Chewie gets plus one, too, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, just not Han. Han gets the groups, yeah. So four damage, and then... Um, Positioning advantage. That's the one he burned for... Uh, the strain there. Yeah. He, he burned that for the strain from the uh, Toxic Dart. Well, it's not a bad spot because if the Ranger tries to shoot him, he's dead, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, exactly. So in some ways, it's that's what I like with Han, is that you can be a little more gutsy. You can run in there and shoot, hoping well, that no one's going to shoot back. If you want to bait it out, then you actually, the, the hidden focused Ranger he has up by the objective could run out and shoot Han, and then he has to decide to burn Han's attack, shooting him back or not, hoping that he could get the uh, the weakened ranger, but he, you know what I mean? Yeah. So shooting 3PO. Shooting 3PO. 3PO! Yeah. So, so, it basically kills him, yeah, because he's got the innate one pierce. 3 pos range? Block. Five, ten, ten, yep. I would say, yeah. Just an update from our other uh, top four table. Carl beat Ivan, so it's going to be an all Montreal final. So that's going to be worth yeah, the drive to Toronto score. for you boys. Yeah, yeah. Good rolls, and David just put this up a little bit. It's beyond my geek level. So that glory for the kill just did it, eh? Start start the dumpster fire when you get yeah, home. Yeah, put it on. No, seriously, I wanna I wanna throw some kindling on that. That's what I love with this game. You always get some weird scenario that no one's ever come up with before that you need some sort of answer from the Narada or rules some rules lawyering. And no matter what the TO says, he'll and be wrong. Always seems something with Greedo. It's Greedo. Greedo, I love Greedo though, he's so annoying. It's awesome. They'll be burning you an effigy by the on <laughs> online tonight. Yeah. So he's moving up here with the Ranger. He's going to take a shot at, I'm guessing, Chuck. See you, buddy. See ya. See you and if nobody Thanks else again, posts the graphics. Yeah. Nationals? Absolutely, yeah. Thanks again, buddy. See you. Talk to me again. So he's uh, looking to take a shot here at... Do oh, you think he's going at Chopper here? Because he moved right up past Han. Is he actually just going to shoot him? Oh, on? right. They were checking uh, accuracy or uh, line of sight for Chopper oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So why did he shoot him? Oh, he's... Oh, nope. looks like he's got a black guy there. So... Oh, man. Triple block. Oh, boy. So he's going to push for two. That's only one. Pierce, Pierce, uh, two, is that two damage? So he's just, just, just four away? five away. Five away. Five away, so, so he gets no rerolls. So if he had gone one space back, he would yes. have had it for sure. Oh, he also yeah. says he's adding it. He had added in that, that card. There we go. Oh, that's a great time to play hide and reflexes. Oh. Just get rid of that die. Oh. So that's now five damage, I believe, right? Let's yeah. see. He's going to push for two. Yeah, that's a beautiful card. It's one of my favorite cards for hunters because you can, you. By the way, you know you can wait till he rolls, right? Well, it's while attacking. Yeah, but it's the yeah. you can see the. But roll. that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to uh, do it then. Yeah, so it's that's what I love about it. You can be like, nah, you didn't roll a good one anyways. So he killed Chopper. So it's three points for Pierre. Um, I think I like that move, just because Han's gonna shoot you back, probably kill you. At least Chopper, you take out a figure. What do you guys think of that? Like, do you think it was a good move? Because, you know, you want to shoot a Han because he's going to shoot back at you and kill you, right? Well, yeah, of course. It's because it's you're not going to kill Han. Yeah. Also, oh, that's almost a seven-point swing now. Right. Yeah. To where the the objective. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Han's right. already moved, so no, no one's yeah. going to hold that. So you have to point. double move his Ranger to pull that off. Yeah. Which I don't know if he's going to want to do. So it's, it's looking in Pierre's favor pretty strongly here. 
Especially if he doesn't contest the one that Hera's got. So he has to jump a ranger down the hole just to stop the four points. Yeah. yeah. But as you were saying, then you're committing one of your figures you need to use. Ooh, this is uh, this is looking like Yariv is on his way to potentially a good victory here. I mean, he's still got control, like you said, of uh, eight points. Objective. If you're trading figures point for point, whoever is up on objectives wins automatically, yeah. right? So yeah, exactly. Oh, he's going to play a little all on a surprise here. Attack on. Oh, boy. So this is Kotun, a focus Kotun. Oh, boy. All on a surprise. No guy. Oh, that's, that's not, not bad. I mean, it's going to put through a lot of damage on Han. It's a re-roll for professional. Yep. And let's see what... Oh, he rolled the exact same thing. Just flip the actors. So... That's still quite a lot of damage on Han, but Han gets to shoot back, which is fine. Platoon's got enough to survive an attack, but he also gets his end of round. Yeah, freaking Han is awesome, yeah. man. I mean, you've been using him, you're having fun with him. I think I got to try him out here. I, I, I used Chewie in Michigan, and I had real, I had a lot of fun with him. Like the figures right now, man, they're so fun. They're so fun to play. It's a long way. This, oh, that's a pretty good attack from Han there. It's pretty good defense too. Yeah. So he's gonna re-roll. Re -roll. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, the search was well, being canceled. Ah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, no, You're absolutely right. That's a good move. That's a good move. So platoon takes three. Takes three. Yeah. Not too bad. Look at those nice new fancy red blood tokens. They blend in well with the cardboards. They actually look good. So Stefan still has Gideon and the Rangers to go. If Gideon pushes one of the rangers, he can the ranger can go down and get a shot on Hera. Yeah, good point. Yeah, but without any, um, he would need like an assassinator or something yeah, in his hand to make obviously. it worthwhile. Yeah, obviously. Well, she has he's... four damage already. So, I mean, you could, in theory, but you're right. If she up, the problem is he's going to be up close, no re-rolling. You want to make sure, you, you have to you... guarantee it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's four for Hera and then another four for scoring it. So that gets him to... Uh, 26 if he pulls it off. Otherwise, there we go. Yep. Yeah. So and oh, he's already focused. So uh, there we go. Yeah. So both the Rangers are now focused. Yeah. yeah focus this could this could swing a little bit. Yeah. It looks like he's gonna attack that other Ranger though, right? Well, they can still move. Yeah. Well, that was just Gideon's activation. Yeah. So then Pierre could then, since it's his, if he wanted to stop this from happening. He could take his hidden ranger up top and try and take out that one, but I think he's used all his hunter cards. He's already used the rangers this round, too. Oh, right. right at the beginning. Right. Sorry, you're right. So, inter this is interesting right now. No, it's a good comeback move. Yeah, I like it. Because then the other ranger that isn't focused can just double move to the middle objective, camp that. Then he could take back uh, 12 points, put him to 30. And then Pierre's at uh, 33, so then it's still a close-ish game. Yeah. Because right now it's the objectives are still, like, it's kind of ominous right now to say yeah. Pierre has potentially eight points coming here if you don't try to negate something. Because you're not, you're not going to reach that objective in the middle. So if he doesn't take someone out soon, so it looks like he's going to try to go for not here. Interesting. Okay, so he's going to try and take out that, that ranger, at least try. Take some damage on that ranger. They're hidden. We can't see him on the screen. He's sort of hitting on the screen. Oh, man. So he's five away, so he's going to be He does have lose. a... Oh. Uh, it was no, on a two damage. It was on a two, damage. On two damage. Two damage. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, three damage. yeah that's it. Okay, well, almost the same. Pretty much. And... He does have a he search from the hide. Search from the hide. He's got a pierce what one. Oh, no, he, he just can't. Oh, he loses that. Okay. So five damage yeah but it's not dead so that's it's a waste almost like yeah I wouldn't oh. say a waste but you'd be hoping for some kind of lucky break right what he wanted him to do is roll the one block so he could break it automatically and then use the surge to put it exactly. over the top and kill him yep. it's amazing when oh he's going for the punch here oh he's not going to take care of that's interesting well, the points are the same, so I guess no it works. No re-rolls. What do they got? No 
rolls. I mean, it's not a terrible roll with that. Yeah, he's so got. He's got enough for four points for Stefan. I like that move because now he's got four points coming his way. And too. it's another swing. Yeah. Yeah. It's at the end swing. of the round. So that, this is going to be a close, close ending, man. I was just awesome. thinking from from looking at it though, if he had drunk dropped the focused one down the hole to finish Hera, for, like, yep. to have a good chance of doing it. Yeah. And then used his other ranger just to contest the objective of top. Instead of, yeah, that's true. Then, then he'd be up, um, he'd be at 26 to 29 mm -hmm. at the end of round. And, and oh, not, interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, Gideon, uh, Moves oh. the ranger over to the objective. Oh, oh, that's, you, oh, that's smart. He had the line of sight, right? Yeah. Wow. Good move. Wow, cool. So that's probably why he didn't move him back one space to get the reroll yeah. chopper. So end or of I round. Hope he was that, that was Pierre Yves will score. We'll eight. give him the credit for being a genius and pulling that one off. Yeah, eight points for Pierre Yves and four points for Stefan. Uh, yes. Hmm. Still tight. On no, end of round shot. End of round. Oh boy, that's a dead ranger, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's gonna be four for Pia uh, for Stefan. Yep. Four more. Hmm. It's gonna be a good game moment here for yeah. Pierre because he just needs to survive. Essentially, oh, get he, the he, he just has to activate and kill something for three points, right? Yeah, it's true. Yep. You got a ranger sitting out there. It's the question if he has the means to do it, right? Yeah. So Han has eight damage, correct? Yeah. So Han's doable to kill. He's holding, Initiative passes. What's he holding? Planning. Let me see them cards. Come on, tip those cards. I think I see a tough luck in there. So I'm imagining it. Oh no, he heard me. He's not showing his cards. Oh, let's see. Hesitating here. Maybe call. Call of Vanguard. Well, that'd be kind of cool. Take a shot at Han. With what though? Oh no, it's they're all gone, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Kotun or Kotun. Oh, Kotun is right. a trooper. Yeah. Trooper. Oh, I see. Shoot the ranger, soften it up, then move up, kill it, yeah. call it a game. Yeah. Yeah. That's the winning initiative. move. You soften it wow. up, and said, then you shoot again. Basically. That's that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's gonna be game. Unless, so unless unless there's some miracle play by Stefan. Here. Unless the most terrible rules in the history of IA. Yeah. I just wonder who's driving back to Montreal tonight, because you know one of these guys could pull up a cool time. Although we do have one Montreal final yeah. coming up, so. That's why he takes separate cars. <laughs> Low wolf. Then if you're yeah. then if you're then if your salty meta mate gets all PO'd at you for not. So Kotan surges for plus two there, and yeah. plus one accuracy. Yeah. That's pretty good. And he's got the, or she's got the professional reroll as well. Yeah. So five away. Yep. Should be fine. And he's full. So let's see. But as you said, it's call the vanguard, and then he's gonna have a chance to attack again. Just go again. Yeah. Let's see what happens here? Very shaky going on. Is that Jones an Elvis focus. reference? A whole lot of shit going on. Oh, that's a big roll. Oh, dude. Two, oh, four. boy. And that's nasty. Well, what's he showing? That's pretty two, much four, a dead ranger. Seven. 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 That's it. Yeah, that's a dead ranger. And that's that's game. Be four unless he's got in something. The game, unless he's got something unless here. He's got the means to block the thing. It's a good game. Uh, just wait to see what they're trying to calculate here. Well, you always want to make sure you don't it. shake on it. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Good. There we go. There that's yep. the shake. Good game. So, I don't know, that was an interesting match. It seemed like they were just sort of staring each other down the hallway, which happens a lot on this map. Um, Han tried to do what he could. He couldn't do enough. Pierre shows that um, Kotun's pretty good. She distributes some tokens. She can take some good shots. She did the, the cleanup job. And uh, he really, obviously, he's played this list a lot. What did you guys think of the game? No, it was a great watch when you commit somebody better than a cheap smuggler to go down the hole and finish them off and yeah. just stay there, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a solid chance for you to keep the four points.